If you're not warm during the winter, you're going to be very miserable and you're going to not like your life. It might not look awesome, but trust me, this is what everyone is wearing during the winter. And there you go, you are ready for the winter. Hi, welcome back to the channel. So what I'll be doing today is to show you how to layer accurately and how exactly you should dress for the winter. The winter is here. It is freezing cold and today what I'll be doing is to just show you how to dress for this cold. So you did your research about coming to Canada. You learned all the things about how to come to Canada, how to apply for your study permit, you got your study permit or you apply for your work permit and you got your work permit or you got your permanent residency and you're coming to Canada as an immigrant. Today what I'll be showing you is how to dress for the winter. No matter where you have previously experienced winter, trust me, Canada's winter is way worse. <laughs> so what I'll be doing is to just show you exactly how to layer for the winter, how exactly you stay warm in a climate that is this cold. So the first thing that you should think about and the first layer that you can add is this top. So this top is a long sleeve top and then you can wear a legging as your bottom and this will be your first layer. Now depending on the weather, it's going to depend on what you wear. So let's say the weather is only negative, let's start at negative one. If it's negative one, you can wear something like this with I wouldn't say a legging, but just wear a jeans pants and you'll be fine. And just play around with it, but one degree is not that cold, so you can survive in less clothes. So in a one degree weather, you should be able to wear something like this and not be super cold. You should be fine in just a jacket that is this thin. You throw it over and you can decide if you want to close it leave it open whatever so let's say the temperature is negative 13. now if the temperature is negative 13 if you have on a base layer like this you can wear like a hoodie over it like this so you wear the hoodie over it you close it and then you throw on a jacket over all of this. There you go. You throw a jacket over it. This jacket, I'm going to show you in detail, but as you can see, it has fleece on the end. You want to get a jacket with fleece. What fleece does is when it's snowing, you want to have this to catch the snow. So it would be good to get a hoodie with a fur when you're purchasing your winter jacket. Now this is an amazing winter jacket. And there you go, you are ready for the winter. So this is one look that you can have. And this is just the top. I haven't explained the bottom, but on the bottom you can wear like a legging, like the one that I'm wearing now that you cannot see. I don't know so this legging and then I'm going to have to show the bottom somehow I do not know all right so and that's how you dress in terms of layering the top that's how you layer and see so I have like three layers here so this is why you won't be cold during the winter because as you can see I'm wearing this underneath then I'm wearing this and then I have my jacket and you can also keep them open to some extent it would be warm <laughs> it would be warm to some extent but ideally close it all up and you will be ready for the winter on the inside this is actually fleece so you can either wear a legging like this one underneath your clothes or what you can do is to wear a fleece legging so it really depends on how cold it is and your endurance to cold. But you can actually throw this over the legging you already have wearing. You can throw this over it 
It seems as though I'm wearing the same legging, but this is actually the fleece legging. Like, I'm actually burning up in the house in this legging. So, regular legging, and then I have, like, this underneath, which is just another legging. And no one would know. The next thing is socks. So, for socks, I have these. I know it's purple, but whatever. <laughs> So these socks, you can see it's fleece inside. It's not regular socks. So this is what I would wear. Um, and you can get thicker. The thickness of the socks really keep going, keep going, keep going. Like you can get really thick socks very easily depending on your threshold to the cold. Is That's very important. Your threshold to the cold. Next, you would wear earmuff. Now these earmuff, I just do it like this so you can't really see that I'm in earmuff but I am and I would wear the earmuff like this outdoor and that's how I would wear the earmuff the camera is crooked and this entire time I did not know and if you are still cold you can throw on a hat on top of it I do not wear any hat during the winter but here I am throwing it on so there you go you wear a hat over it this is what you can do i'm burning up in all these clothes but you wear a hat you wear the earmuff and then for gloves so with gloves these are like some of the thickest gloves i've ever worn these gloves are thick enough for negative 40 weather and i have these very thin gloves so you can see the difference in glove these are very thin, these are very thick. I'm going to take out some of these clothes because I'm hot and come back. This is what the thin gloves look like. And I would wear this in anything more than negative 20 degrees. And this is what the thick gloves look like. They are very thick. I'm telling you, these are good enough for negative 40. They are huge. But they work. So for most winters, I usually just look like this. For most winters, I'll keep it open like that. Like for the majority of the winter. Because the temperature goes up, it goes down, it goes all the way around. And then I would keep my earmuff. Which you can't really notice that I'm wearing an earmuff. Which I like it. So I just do it like this. Throw my jacket over like this. And then I would wear this fleece leggings underneath and I would typically just wear this glove and then put my hand in my pocket because it keeps you warm because I'm hot right now and I'm not wearing everything you should be able to survive in clothes like this if not then wear more clothes keep wearing more clothes until you're warm but I'm burning up so I'm going to take this off and there's something important that I haven't showed you what's that shoes let me go get the shoes and I'll be right back I'm going to try and find snowshoes for you guys and just snow things in general and link them down below for you but in a snowshoes what you're looking for is this underneath the shoes if you look you can see that under the shoes it has many grids these grids is what helps you to not slide into the snow so this is what you're looking for in a snowshoes the next thing you're looking for in a snowshoes is to make sure that it's waterproof this thing is fully waterproof it might not look awesome but trust me this is what everyone is wearing during the winter the next thing you're looking for so one the grid underneath so that you don't slide because it's a lot of ice on the ground. Just consider walking on ice and then you'll see how unsafe it is. So you need this grid underneath. And the next thing is waterproofing. It's like a water boot. It's, it's fully waterproof. And then on the inside, what you're looking for inside of the shoes is fleece. And in here is 100% fleece so that's what you're looking for inside of your winter shoes this shoes was made by ice fields just hear the name of the <laughs> just listen to the name of the company so it's called ice fields this shoes is very 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 warm and perfect for the winter so if you're interested in it 
uh i'll try to find it i'm not sure it's water resistant and it is from icefield so look up icefield shoes and see if you can find this particular winter boot because i really like this one the shoes is at walmart oh it's 64 dollars for it but these are the shoes that i wear during the winter i really like them so if you ever want to try them out they have it in black and this gray color they have quite a few different options as well for snowshoes for earmuff you're looking for this inside of the earmuff fleece this is fleece that you're seeing right here and the fleece is what keeps you warm for jackets for jackets i honestly don't remember the percentage of down that needs to be into a jacket but there's a specific percentage of down that needs to be in it and down is what's inside of the jacket to keep you warm I don't remember what it was but what I'm going to do is to do some research for you and link some really good jackets down below that would actually keep you warm if you're not warm during the winter you're going to be very miserable and you're going to not like your life so it's important to be warm during the winter for my huge glove here I'm not even sure what's in this because I did not purchase this I got it it's just another layer of this is maybe maybe this fabric is also fleece i honest i'm not sure about this fabric but there's a different fabric on the inside of it that layers it and it's very thick and in here is very thick i'm not sure what's in it but there's something in it that makes it very thick but i did not purchase it so i'm not sure but i'm going to try and find some gloves for you some boots all the things i'm going to try and find them and link them down below for you yeah and that's it right i showed you all the accessories you wear your gloves you wear your your earmuff you wear um the socks those would be the accessories and then the shoes you know your base layer this can be any color but i chose to wear white because i'm always wearing black so it's like let's switch it up yeah this is how you layer for the winter so if you have any questions leave them down below i'll be happy to answer your questions if you have any questions in general or if you have questions specifically about layering for the winter and you need some help you can ask me down below i'll be happy to let you know thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye